Hey everybody, Bones here, Bones Garage, just bringing you up to date what's going on at the garage today. So, the 1976 Pontiac Firebird Formula. We have made very good progress, and as you can see, underneath that wheel well is empty. There is nothing there. We have taken the upper and lower control arms, all the steering, all the uh, brake stuff, all the suspension stuff out, and are currently in the process of either rebuilding or replacing all the components for it. So, as you can see, it is pretty much empty um, on both sides. And we are going to get started, like I said, rebuilding and replacing. And if we come over here, I can show you all of the pieces and parts that go into your front suspension, steering, and brakes. Um, from this side, that's the right front caliper, the right front spindle and steering knuckle. That is your right front brake disc. That's your lower right front control arm. That's your upper right front control arm. Shock absorber. That is your sway bar. Those are your bushings and the links go on the end which attach right there into that little hole from the sway bar to the lower control arm. That is all of your steering linkage. That's your idler arm. That's the center link. And these are your tie rods. That's the inner tie rod. That's the outer tie rod. And that's the tie rod adjusting sleeve. Your shock absorbers. That is the brake proportioning valve over there. And that is the master cylinder. And everything on this side is the same as on this side except on that side. So we started replacing everything. As you can see on this lower control arm, we got the new bushings in and we used all urethane so this way it'll handle a little better and they last a lot longer. We got the new lower ball joint in, just got to put the boot on it. And then on the upper control arm, we cut out all the old rivets and took out the old upper ball joint. We put in the new upper control arm bushings. Again, they are urethane. And on this side ball joint, you can see that is one of the rivets. And there's the other one and one too. Um, what you have to do is you have to cut them and then take the air hammer, bang off the top of the head, and then you have to take the air hammer and bang the rest of the rivet out and then you can pry the ball joint right out from the control arm and then the new one just bolts right in. So that's about what's going on right now and uh, we're doing really good. Progress is going really well and we're going to get everything all set up, get all everything all back in and keep on moving on her. Alrighty guys, I will talk to you all later. Have a good one. Okay, bye.